It's about time you guys got a short and easy video. We're through the hard stuff, actually. I'm measuring my piston to cylinder wall clearance. We've already done the math for the cylinder bore, so what I'm going to do is write down my piston measurements, one through four, and subtract them from the bore measurements we gathered in the last video. You want to measure about 5 64ths of an inch, or a little less than a quarter inch up on the bottoms of the piston skirts, no lower. This gets you your measurement from a spot past the area that's most affected by piston slap. Pay attention to your marks on the rod caps and write each measurement down for the appropriate piston. Next, take your measurements and subtract them from the low and high measurements of the bores they came from. This gives you low and high measurements for your piston to cylinder wall clearances. Repeat this for all four bores and check these numbers to see if they fall within spec. Factory spec for all Turbo 4G63 engines is 12 ten thousandths to 20 ten thousandths of an inch. Factory spec for all 4G63 non-turbos is 8 ten thousandths to 16 ten thousandths of an inch. If you're not doing a wild build, you need to do this to make sure your parts are worth reusing. I'm not reusing these parts, but there's nothing wrong with any of them. It's important if you're not working with OE pistons to base your bore diameter off that piston manufacturer's clearance specifications. Different alloys have different thermal expansion rates, so a factory board block with a forged piston at factory skirt clearances would likely end in disaster. If they grow beyond factory spec when they're hot, clearances would get too tight and you'd trash your block. I don't want any of you to experience something like that, so that's why I'm here on YouTube telling you how to avoid it. You know the drill in the comments and the likes. I work really cheap.